So Krister here at the Tiki Bar, which seems to end up being my workshop. Um, so I was painting my fireplace the other day and uh, got distracted and let these two brushes basically dry with varying amounts of paint in them and it totally sucks. And I could throw them away, but I'm pretty sure I can clean them out. So I do what everybody does. I go on the internet, went on the YouTubes, tried to figure out what to do. And surprisingly, I didn't find the same thing everywhere. And then I found some guy who was like in the Navy who had some video about how they would clean brushes and all this stuff, including latex, which is what this is, with Pine Sol. And I was like, what? Which just got me thinking, of course, there's got to be some non-solvent, non-hardcore, more natural way to do it that's also probably cheaper. So um, I found another guy that said um, Murphy's oil soap would work. So I thought... This stuff's super cheap. I'll just go buy it and try it and see what happens. So the game plan is I've got a cup of Murphy's, a cup of Pine Sol, two brushes in various states of paint that's definitely dried on there. I'm going to put them in. We'll come back in like 24 hours or so and see what we get. See if this works or see if um, I need to do something else or buy new brushes. But I think it's totally worth a try. I'm kind of excited about it. So here we go. So we're just gonna, I don't know, I'm just gonna put this in. I'm not gonna jam the bristles down. I may even like gaff tape the top or something so it doesn't put too much force on the bristles, but uh, maybe I should just show you beforehand, like this is the state of this brush. It's 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 not one solid chunk, but it's, it's like 10 toes. <laughs> so there's that one, pine saw. And then the red one is, um, it's a little more mobile, but it's it's older, and so it's dirtier higher up, and I want to see if that cleans up too. So this is in the oil soap, and that's it. Uh, we're back, and let's see what we know. So this one was super caked on there. This was the worst of the two, and um, so it's been in Pine Sol for two days, maybe three days, and it kind of worked a little bit but I wouldn't say that it's like a thing you should put down in your notebook and go buy some pine salt to me this is kind of uh, it's no better so pine salt's out not happening um, this has been in Murphy's oil for two or three days and this one was not nearly as bad so we know that but it was um, oh yeah it's pretty wicked soft actually so my guess is with some combing, um, the stuff is loose and it's totally coming off. So it's a thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to try and wash this brush out um, and see how I do. And then this other one that didn't work at all in the pine saw, I'm going to soak it in denatured alcohol overnight. And I think I'll probably put it in a metal can. And we'll see what happens. What's happened is I've soaked both these brushes in denatured alcohol. This one, this pretty brush, wasn't too bad. It was the, it was the much, uh, much less ruined of the two. And I soaked it overnight. It softened up all the residue that was on there. I combed it out a bit, um, washed it, set it aside, actually painted the next day, um, washed it again, and it's great. Pretty much it feels just like it did when I started. In fact, it's probably better than when that whole process started because a lot of the residue that's been left on there from other paint jobs over the years is pretty much gone. So um, it worked out for a little bit. On the other hand, this brush, which was way worse, um, I soaked for like a week in denatured alcohol basically because I got busy. And the stuff still pretty much sticks together after washing and combing and um, this is not really a usable brush for doing a nice paint job. So, um, what I thought would be like maybe a little how to video or what to use video is basically just a use common sense and always wash your brushes afterward with the amount of time and money. I think I spent trying to get this brush working. It's not worth it. You know, buy a nice pretty brush, um, take good care of it and you'll be fine. I've been using nice brushes for decades and probably never left one like I had these. So um, just take good care of them and in the event that you mess up really bad and leave paint all over them, just throw it away and get a new one. It's so much more worth your time.